Welcome to another video. This is episode 2. The most terrifying objects found in the deep sea. So let's go into it. And snapper. Our, Our excursions require an early, early start. start. After, After breakfast, breakfast on board, you'll, you'll make two dives on the wreck. wreck. In the in early, early 50s, 50s Jacques Cousteau gained information from local fishermen. fishermen. He, raised he raised several, several items, items from, the from the wreck, wreck including, including a motorcycle, a motorcycle the, captain's the captain's safe, safe and the and ship's, ship's bell. bell. The February 1956 edition of the National Geographic clearly shows the ship's bell in place and Cousteau's divers in the ship's lantern room. Casto documented, documented diving, diving on the wreck, wreck in part of his book, book The Living Sea. Sea. That guy could, could find, find anything. anything. Number, Number 12. 12. Ocean Atlas. Atlas. Artist, Artist, photographer, naturalist, naturalist and diver, diver. Jason, Jason DeCares Taylor, Taylor introduced his record-breaking record public sculpture to the Crystal Bohemian, Bohemian Waters, waters in, 2014. in 2014. Entitled Ocean Atlas, Atlas. The, installation the installation encourages coral, coral colonization, colonization and deters tourists, tourists from endangered, from endangered reefs. reefs. Forged, Forged for sustainable pH-neutral pH materials pH designed to kickstart local coral, coral growth, growth, Ocean Atlas, Atlas is a monumental, monumental public sculpture submerged five, five meters, meters beneath the sea and an environmental gesture intended to portray the positive potential of human interaction with the natural world. Located off the west coast of New Providence, the 18-foot tall, 60-ton statue is currently the largest underwater statue in the world. The girl in the piece seems to struggle underneath a heavy burden, which is appropriate given that she was named after Atlas, the Greek god responsible for bearing the heavens on his shoulders. As with the rest of Taylor's numerous underwater sculptures, this one was made from a special pH-neutral cement that will allow reef organisms to thrive on its surface. His statues allow new reefs to grow where none existed before and draw tourists away from overworked diving hotspots. Maybe not terrifying, but with the war on that's a scary thought. Number 11, Atlet Yam. Talk, Talk about, about weird, weird underworlds. underworlds. Not, Not far, far off, off the coast, coast of the village of Atlit in the Mediterranean Sea, near Israel, lies the submerged, submerged ruins of the ancient Neolithic site of Atlit Yam. The, the prehistoric settlement, which, which dates, dates back to the 7th millennium BC, has been so well preserved by the sandy seabed that a mysterious stone circle still stands as first erected, and dozens of human skeletons lay undisturbed in their graves. Today, Atlet Yam lies beneath 16 to 40 feet beneath sea level and covers an area of 40,000 square meters. The site was first discovered in archaeologist Ehud Galilee, and since then, underwater excavations have unearthed numerous houses, stone-built water wells, a series of long, unconnected walls, ritual installations, stone-paved areas, a megalithic structure, thousands of flora and fauna remains, dozens of human remains, and numerous Numerous artifacts, artifacts made, made of stone, stone bone, bone, wood, wood and flint. flint. The site, the site provides, provides unprecedented insight into life in Neolithic times, times when, when people had just discovered, discovered how to domesticate plants and animals. I, I bet, bet there, there are, are ghosts, ghosts there, there too. too. Number, Number 10, 10 the, sea the Sea of Galilee, Galilee structure. structure. A gigantic, a gigantic monument, monument at the bottom of the Sea of Galilee. Of Galilee as, as well, well as several mysterious structures, structures wow. including a gigantic stone wheel and a moon-shaped moon monument, monument, were recently found in northern, northern Israel. Israel. The, the mysterious structures have left archaeologists around the world bewildered. Who, who built them, them? and what, what were they used, used for? for? They may and be some of Israel's most mysterious, mysterious structures. structures. They're, They're easy, easy to miss, miss from the roadside, but can clearly be seen from the sky. Sorry, guys. I need to end this video. If you want the part three or episode three just like and subscribe please to support this channel and share with your family and friends once again peace out bye bye